Yeah, we on Boss Talk TV. Shout out to Ehe, the reason you see. Okay, more breaking news this morning here on CB24 Breakfast. This from the Bridal Path area, where a police investigation is underway at Drake's home. Chopper 24 is above the scene this morning. It shows the street shut down just outside of 21 Park Lane Circle. That property belongs to the rapper. Crime scene tape can not only be seen outside, but also in the front courtyard driveway of Drake's home. It's not clear at this point what the nature of the investigation is. It's also unclear if this is connected to an overnight shooting that police have told us about in the uh, area where shots rang out. This is in the Bayview and Lawrence Avenue area, which is in the sort of general area of Drake's home. So this is just after 2 o'clock this morning. In this case, one person taken to hospital with serious injuries. Investigators say the suspects left the area in a vehicle. Once again, no official word from police if there is a connection. We are working on that. We have our Courtney Hills making her way now to this scene. Again, Drake's home. Police investigating will have much more throughout the morning mm -hmm. here on CP20. We begin with breaking news. Developing story out of Toronto. There's currently a large police presence outside of the home of Drake after reports of an overnight shooting in the area. Here's a live look at the scene now. This is outside of 21 Park Lane Circle in North York, well known to be the home of the Toronto-born rapper. Details are still very limited, but police have confirmed to City News that the person injured is not Drake. Officers responded to the shooting around 2 this morning. One person was rushed to hospital with serious injuries. No word on the identity of that person. A suspect fled in a vehicle, but no description is available at this point. Stay with us here on BT for the latest. Oh, man. Check it, man. Boss Talk 101, man. Check it. Um, man, I like I said, man, this is crazy. Um, big Drake uh, fan, big... Uh, Man, want to first off uh, um, hope everybody is uh, doing okay in the situation. Man, um, you know a lot of a lot of times when 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 you know when the gunfire start, the whole thing you know get real serious. People get to moving real fast. Um, man, I hey man, listen. A lot of people hit me up. Make sure you got like, subscribe to Boss Talk One Hundred and One. They wanted me to speak on it, share my insight on what I felt about it. I hadn't been speaking on the beef. Uh, the battle rapping because I was like, I ain't going to get in there. But now somebody that got shot. Okay. Now it's like, okay, now I, I'll give you my opinion on it, man, because I love hip hop. You know, um, a lot of people speculating, shooting at the fact that maybe Kendrick done it. Somebody I also got a text. Somebody said that his store was vandalized. Drake's store. There's a lot of stuff going on here. There's a lot of moving parts to what's happening with, uh, what's going on in Toronto right now. Um, I know, you know, I've always talked about Kendrick and Drake on my show. Boss Talk 101 has always, but I never seen, you know, I really, when I I got kind of offended in the beef, in the battle rapping, because I'm like, okay, them boys, they just, you know, making noise. They're trying to figure out a way to, you know, get people to, you know, chime in. But it got a lot personal. It got to talking about daughters and sons, as they always do. And there's this whole thing ain't no rules in the battle. You just do what you got to do to win. Uh, but is this related to Kendrick Lamar at all? This shooting, this late night shooting in Toronto, in a whole nother uh, country? Come on, man. I don't know, man. You know, I know OG Piru, he grew up across the street. Well, he, he watched Kendrick Lamar grow up across the street from where he lived. And it's just a thing where, you know, they, they, they come a little different. OG Piru is the one I'm probably going to call in on this because he's the type of guy that, he, you know, he understands when things get rough, when bullets start flying. Uh, OG Piru been around. He's seen a lot of things. So, uh, yeah, I, I want to bring him on this and bring him in on this and just see what he thinks about it. Because um, it's amazing to me how somebody could even – you know, get this caught up and, and, and let something like this transpire, man. So it's crazy to me, man. I'm trying to figure out what's going on. Let me let me try to get to the bottom of this. You know what I'm saying? Or what what he It's crazy. Hello. Hey, what's going on, man? This 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 boss talk one oh one uh OG Pyro this I was I won't I can't hardly hear you got a TV or something up in the background. There you go. Okay, yeah, man, I'm want to call you because you've been on the show and 
you expressed the point to me that that you uh you you watched Kendrick grow up as a little boy across the street from from uh, your house. Yeah, he, he, he was uh, lived across the street from my mother's house on Elm Street. Okay, on Elm Street. Okay, well, right now um, he's battle rapping with Drake. And and I, I really like I said at first I wasn't gonna chime in on it, but then some it kept people kept texting me. Uh reality TV sent me some. She said, You're not gonna say nothing? I was gonna I wasn't gonna say nothing, but this morning I was blown away about what happened at two o'clock last night. Two o'clock last night, uh yeah. shots rang out in another country and they tried to relate it to Kendrick as if this beef done spilled in the streets. So Yeah, I, yeah that's I mean Given the interest, but you know, um, uh, e, uh, gang banging in California went territorial, you know, and ain't nobody in his right mind out of Cali gonna go to Toronto, Canada to shoot at nobody. We ain't got a passport, <laughs> let alone a driver's license. So it, it looks like it's, it's some inside information in Drake's camp that. Somebody because I don't see him doing drive-bys in Toronto. That looked like a so, nice neighborhood too, man. When you look at it, yeah, it's, it's, it's a elite little neighborhood. So uh, it's been suspected that somebody in Drake's camp was leaking information to Kendrick. And, okay. Um, you know they say the chickens come home to roost, right? Yeah, I, I mean, you know, the, you've seen rap battles. You see Tupac and Biggie. You know, you see uh, uh, all these different rap battles. It's been a bunch of them, and just a litany of them after that. But before that, it was it was on wax, like with LL Cool J and Cool Mo D, and you know, just uh, different people. D not well, it was a uh, uh, Jay Z and Nas, not a friends and buddy buddy. Like, what do you think about rappers? You know, uh, going and you know, jumping bad on each other on the mic. What do you think about it? Well, I mean, it it, it it had become so devastating that I was listening to someone this morning talking about old times when you just fought and everybody would live to see another day. And everybody now uh, is to the ultimate. Everybody got to have a gun. So in the rap world, now it had become so critical that these dudes are taking this as so serious that they take it to the streets and by them having money and not knowing what to do with it, a lot of times it causes friction and people around them that are trying to be put on or trying to um, emulate what their lifestyle is will take to other measures that are really out of control. You know what I'm saying? Wow. So, OG Paru, um, when you think about Kendrick growing up, I mean, on Elm Street, man, he got it in him. so low key I used to pick him up and take him to school I never seen him rap I never saw him with no headphones on I never knew I saw him one day when Game did a thing and he came on with J-Rock uh, J-Rock is out of, out of the Nickerson Gardens and I saw Kendrick on the stage with J-Rock and I knew some of his family was out of the Nickerson Gardens I'm thinking he's just a fan right and I never imagined, I'm, I'm in Florida robbing banks one time, and uh, my partner said, man, you know that little boy Kendrick calls the street for your mother? I'm like, yeah. And he said, go to the Source magazine. Go to the Source magazine, I see Kendrick's with, with uh, Dr. Dre on the cover. Wow. Like, what the fuck? Wow. Wow. Biggest assignment I missed out on. You know what I'm saying? Man, I felt the same way one of the guys I, I seen come up, and it blew my mind. It's like, you know, but he's not, he, whatever he say on oh, wax, he's not a vindictive, he's not a kind of guy that would, would have anybody do anything to harm anybody. That's just not his nature. Well, I'm just so, telling you, he was talking about kid, uh, Drake's daughter, talking about he neglecting his daughter, talked about his kids, his old lady. They they talk, they go, they, they hidden below the belt, though. OG, uh, Pyro, you don't know him. You knew him pre the money. The money amplifies the character. Now, 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 you sure this man character hadn't been activated and and and, and calculated and, and and then exploded? But you you can look at you can look at Kendrick 
right now with all the money and the fame that this, we just got a deal a couple of years ago for $50 million. He don't wear jewelry. He wear a T-shirt right now. He's, he, I, I, I look at it like the freeway Rick of rap. <laughs> wow. Wow. Man, I just. Everybody was mad because of his, his sister. She had had a baby. And um, when she graduated from high school, he bought her a new camera, right? Yeah. And everybody was why why did he buy a Lamborghini? Why did he why Drake? They do. He stays in a nondescript house. He ain't trying to blow his money like that. Wow. I, I just you, huh? No, I, I just I, I just look at man, you know, now somebody got shot. I don't think they, they was they was in stable condition. It seemed like it was a security or something got involved in some stuff, man. And like I said, they might have they might have found out in the camp. Who was in there giving that information? Cause Kendrick knew stuff that was happening almost in real time. Okay, and and like, as I'm saying, it may have been somebody in house. It could have been somebody. I don't. I would. I would. I would. There to stake my reputation on Kendrick having somebody going and shoot at Drake's house or shoot at Drake. That ain't just what he do. In Toronto, That's right? In a whole nother country. country. In a whole nother country? Yeah, and, all, and I and couldn't I don't believe anybody could do that for Kendrick and expect to get something out of it because and, and you, it wasn't authorized by him. So I, I think that's some in house happened with Drake's camp on some stuff that they got an inner battle or a distrust for somebody and somebody got it. They said this morning the guy was in serious condition. So who was who was at their house at two o'clock in the morning? I don't know. That's when it that's when it happened. That's when it popped off. So yeah, so like two o'clock in the morning, they don't even know whether Drake was there or not. Yeah, know? that's crazy, man. It's a crazy thing, man. So the only thing I know is, man, we gotta we gotta we gotta try to figure out like is another you think another you think Kendrick gonna get up off of him now that this doesn't happen, or you think he's gonna drop another song? They've been dropping songs every night, every night, back to back. Go on, drop one and go on, just go on, knock him on off. He already them, uh, uh, he already stumbling. Might well go and try to knock him down, huh? Knock him right on down, man. Man, I tell you, man, like I said, man, I always call you because, like I said, you and Kendrick, uh, being neighborly, you know, your mom standing right across the street from him. I just wanted to hear from you just to see if he was on that type of time. And you say he, he's not on that type of time, no, no, that ain't, that ain't even his character, you know, if it, if it had been. Game or, or or even DJ Quick, I could have said, well, okay, maybe one of the homies, but uh, uh, Kendrick, Kendrick ain't got that kind of makeup. You know wow, y'all. So y'all heard that first right here. Uh, OG Pyru say that ain't the way Kendrick get down, man. So y'all gonna have no, to no. y'all have to let him off the line on this one. Y'all gonna have to find, find somebody else because he ain't going. Yeah. Man, well, hey, man, thank you for calling, uh, answering. And, Calling in on on this uh uh pre hey you got a hell of a video interview coming out uh man I, I can't wait to see the people response to man you came on and you shut it down so it's about to go down man thank you for uh answering the phone man I'm gonna hit you back up okay man this is what a boss is talking man what a boss is talking man how can people get a hold of you uh uh, uh they, they just need to holler at me huh I said how can people get a hold of you they just need to holler at me. Boss Talk, talk 101, talk. man. What a boss is talk. All right, my guy. I'll talk back at you. Okay, for sure. So there you have it, man. OG Pyru said that it, uh, Kendrick, he watched him go across, being across the street from him, and uh, he ain't that type of person. So, guys, make sure you guys get in the comments. Uh, OG Pyru called in. Uh, he said that's not what type of time uh, Kendrick is on. Um, the security, uh, we you know, is developing stories coming out about the injured uh, person and and, and uh, it, 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 hey man, listen man, we just thank God nobody got killed man. So listen man, make sure you guys uh, let us know if you want to see more and more videos like these man, where we just come in and ch conversate about what's going down man in the city, and especially when it gets 
when gunshots rang out, you got to call people who used to seeing and hearing about the gunshot and, and, and have been in those types of situations. Uh, check it, man. It's been another great segment of Boss Talk 101 with the bosses. Yeah, we on Boss Talk TV. Shout out to E-He, the reason you see me.